hi everyone welcome back to my channel today's revelation is about soul or divine soul contracts or divine soul missions I got this revelation uh, pertaining to souls uh, okay or let me say I already knew or I was aware that souls do not belong to Satan the devil okay the devil or Satan is not the creator of souls the divine most highs or the most highs or the divine essence of breath is the creator or the owner of of souls so um, when we get into this planet or this realm when we get into our 369 universe a planet when we um, reincarnate we are signing a soul contract or agreeing on certain things that we will do when we get into this life or this physical realm we make an uh, we make agreements with our ancestors or with the council of the ancestors or the soul family with the council of the bloodlines or our bloodlines we also make agreements with the most high creators before we get into this realm now note this and remember this and know this if you did not know before that our souls do not belong to any body here on earth it doesn't belong to the Satan that's why Satan or devil cannot create a soul that's why they infiltrate or possess a body they can only take over or possess or infiltrate a body and use or turn that specific body into a puppet or into whatever vessel they want to use it they need a soul or a a soul with a body to do whatever they want to do because the devil or Satan cannot create a soul so this essence that we call soul belongs to only one entities or uh, uh, a specific higher powers or the most high creators or the Ohdud of Kumunu that they call the deep infinite breath of life or creators of life the water essence the breath essence the who that brought out a tomb ra or the ra out of it right out of the dark deep waters the spirit of the most highs or the spirit was hovering on the waters the soul the breath of life was hovering on the deep dark infinite waters of life so we all come into this physical space with a contract or things that we need to do or we promised to do here on Mother Gaia space that's why it's important or what why the Bible also says do not make uh, um, quick promises to the Most High or to the Most Highs or to the creators or to your ancestors because before you came in here, before all of us came in here, we said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Say, for example, you were sitting in the council. Oh, this is an example that they also gave me. An earthly example. So even if the corrupted humans have specific laws and activities, which they mostly copy from the most highs and from the divine laws and from the divine ways, and then they corrupt them they do not carry them out correctly so the uh, example that was given was say if the government uh, um, gives an invitation uh, uh, to to the public or citizens for a tender 
uh, I do not know how you guys call tenters in the other parts of the world, but we in Africa, we know tenters are, for example, projects that the government um, is giving out money. They sponsor or they give money for someone who ever qualifies to carry out that specific project. Now, they will say, for example, we need a project for a railway that will stretch from the north to the south. And they will probably give specific uh, uh, specifications and requirements. And then whoever thinks will qualify and not all beings or all citizens will apply for the tender because some of the requirements are too high or we don't have the resources to, for that. So here the government uh, advertises a invitation application invitation to everybody so it's open to the whole of the people or the citizens in that specific country and then the few who think or who have the resources they will then apply okay and then the government or the uh, officials the the committee uh, the board will then select the uh, applic applicant that is qualifying for that project or for that uh, tender, right? Now, before we came into this physical realm, as souls, we also sit before the council, the council of our ancestors, the council of our soul families, the council of the divine. So each one has representatives. So the Ancestors, for example, the Council of the Bloodlines, everyone sits and then they say, all right, listen, we need a soul. We need someone who will go for us to bring back the honor or restore the honor of our bloodline, for example, to restore our name, the glory of our name that was defamed or the glory of our name that was uh, uh, wiped out from mankind because they started following the wrong or the fake or the false or false gods and goddesses or orders of the earth we need someone who can go for us to restore these things for us or to help us in this battle so that's a tenter, that's a soul tenter that has been uh, um, uh, announced in the soul realm among the soul families, among the ancestral council and boards. So when they say, okay, the council or the soul family needs this and this kind of a person that will go and help us in this lifetime or in this time frame to help restore our bloodline help restore our soul line help restore mother gaia or motherland help restore the elements help restore relationships help restore love among mankind help restore uh uh, um, healthy communications or healthy relationships between mankind help restore health in the bodies or in the vessels of our people help restore uh, whatever right so these contracts soul contracts are being announced and advertised in the soul realm and now we apply and specifications and requirements are also given because so as above and as below so also in the middle we are in the middle realm people it's not as above as below earth is not below earth is the middle ground of the above and the below the below is also the most high resting place below is also the essence of the most highs okay or the living space or the dwelling place of the most highs so the earth is just, it's almost like sandwiched between the heavens and the underworld. Or the inner world, sorry, uh, the inner worlds. Okay, now, so we get the uh, adv advertisement or the soul families, they, they are selecting a candidate based on what they have completed on that specific application form. And say, okay, yes, I qualify. Uh, 
I can do this. Yes, I will be able to learn my the soul lessons very quickly. Oh, I will be, I will not budge. I will not be taken away or diverted from my soul mission. I will fight tooth and nail. Okay, you are feeling out why you want to be chosen to come represent the ancestors or the soul family and the most highs because people we are here to restore so many things here on mother land or mother Gaia space in this realm on our planet it's not just the bloodlines it's the animals that need to be rescued that need to be restored to their original uh, uh, um, balance it's for example the elements that need to be restored so each and every one of us have come in with a specific purpose and mission based on what we have given because remember there's a word somewhere scripture that says where the most high was asking or um, yes asking uh, um, people who will go for me who will answer for me who will represent me the same way who will represent me in the earth space or in the mother Gaia space to restore my bloodline who will represent me who will go and represent me to restore animal the animal kingdom who will go for me to risk for us well let me not say singular because they are a community or they are entities they are a group of beings and, and, and species who will go for us to do this and that so you said most you were sitting up there okay in your divine mind and in the council of the divine mind in the supreme pure mind knowing the power that the most highs the ancestors the divine mind has so you knew you were coming or we came with that. I mean, we were we were in the council or in the presence. We said, hey, I will be able um, I will be able to represent the bloodlines. I will be able to represent the the families of Mother Gaia. I will be able to represent the elements. I will be able to re represent the animals. I will be able to represent the children. I will be able to represent women, for example. Yeah. So then all those who said that who filled out that application then the best one was selected for that specific task or a, a, a mission or purpose so we came here but when we came here with all the temptations and everything were in the in the, our divine mind already saw some of the challenges that we will face here on on in this physical realm we got guidance Okay, we got the blueprint, we got the equipment, we got all the weapons that we will need to carry out the specific task here in this space. Okay, all the weaponry. Wherever and whenever we fall, we will get help because there were, there are guides warriors appointed to help us in this mission because they know this is not only our job the divine has our back so now the reason why the most highs brought up this today is the nefarious ones decided okay let's choose a specific soul group or soul missionaries in this lifetime we bully them, we persecute them, we abuse them, we target them through different activities, etc., etc. Especially in this case, the chosen ones, the twin flames, or the light workers, the ones that are here to help mankind, Mother Gaia, the animals, etc. So let's choose them, bully them. Okay, also as a kind of a test 
okay but also because test you will see when it is a test and you will know when it is a persecution there is a difference between a test and a persecution from the nefarious ones so there are there are and the most high has also said already they don't go around testing let me test you now nah, uh -uh. okay satan or the devil is the one who is coming to test whether you will stand your ground on the promise that you have made you we made promises to our most highs to our ancestors that we will come and represent them because we were chosen when we came in here they will not just send in and waste their soul because the soul is the most valuable priceless property of the most highs it's like the reward that we received because we accepted the call or the mission okay we accepted it so we received the reward of the soul and like i said the devil doesn't own our soul the devil satan doesn't own any one soul it belongs to the highest the most highs and like i said that's why they only infiltrate only possess that's why we say somebody is de demon possessed or somebody has a specific bipolar uh, uh, um personality because they have been infiltrated or possessed so the soul belongs to the highest that's the reward that we receive to dwell on this spaceship or on this mother ship you selected nefarious ones you selected and even those ones that are that came here before us the ones uh, um who decided to target the twin flames the chosen ones the light workers you forgot who you were you forgot that you also filled out that application form that soul application form to come through on this mother gaia space according to our family mandalas according to our family orders or according to the orders and laws of our bloodlines our souls and our spiritual standing in the heavenlies or in the inner worlds so you came through now you decided to bully only a specific kind a specific type or specific people you challenged the wrong ones in this lifetime now as the soul doesn't belong to you you know the nefarious ones on top be as well you know the soul doesn't belong to you you can only jump from one so one body to the next to the next to the next that's why when the one that they called jesus apparently jesus when he was casting out demons then that the 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 demon said please do not cast that out cast us out just like that cast us into the peaks or the yeah into the peaks right because they know they need a soul whether that soul is in a tree or soul is in a in an animal they need a body a vessel because they cannot survive without a vessel they will not do anything harmful to a human being who has the right full uh, that has the birth right, because we have the birth right that's our birth right to be in this physical essence all humans that's their right so the demons the devil will never use uh, uh just uh, ghosts and flying around and stuff like that they need a body to do whatever they want to do so you decided to challenge or target a specific group of people including me and if from my twin flame one of the chosen ones a light worker a feminine essence you decided to target me forgetting that you also signed that soul contract with the divine before you signed that contract with the nefarious ones here you did not because you so how can you sign a soul contract apparently sell your soul if that soul doesn't belong to you and it doesn't even belong to the devil because when our souls depart one day when we have finished everything that we need to do on mother gaia space the most highs are ready to receive that soul 
because they know the order of that soul. They know what they will do with that soul and how they will transfer that soul into the next vessel because that is a divine soul or a soul that is representing the divine uh, activity or mission or, or purpose. The same with these nefarious beings who think they will run away hiding. Now there is also a scripture that says, Where will you hide from me? If you go to the deepest of the seas, I am there. The Most High say. If you go to the highest of the thrones or the highest places or the lowest places in the earth space or Mother Gaia space, we are there. Where is the place that you will hide from us, from the Most Highs? You know why you can't hide? Because if you steal a vessel, a body, you are still carrying the alarm, the divine alarm, the divine soul within that vessel. And that's the way you will be tracked wherever you are. You will be traced. You will be found wherever you are. That's why you can't run away. You cannot go and hide in the bunkers. You, we will find you. So the soul doesn't belong to anybody besides the creators, the most highs, the divine essence of breath and life and of existence, all existence throughout all realms of life, whether it is through fire, the uh, beings of the fire, of earth, waters, air waves, it doesn't matter, okay? Now, you guys who decided to target the twin flames, the chosen ones, the, 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 the uh, light workers, etc., the righteous ones, the benevolent ones, etc. Now, here is the message. This is the actual message that I want to. I probably I was explaining uh, so I can get to this point, but this is the real message or the message that I want to bring across to every one of you. All the souls that are here on Mother Gaia space. You sign that contract with your ancestors and with your soul family. You said, I will go and represent them. But when you came here, you decided, I have a free will. I choose whatever I want to do here on earth. Now tell me people, if the Most Highs have given us that free will, it is okay, you can go and choose whatever you want. First thing, as somebody who is reasoning logically, I'm thinking, if the free will was a contractual thing, divinely permitted and permissible, I mean the war that has been going on, the spiritual war wouldn't have started because they know. You go out, you can choose there's no rule. There are no rules. You can do whatever you want. I will just excuse you. You don't even have to face consequences for not wanting to do what you promised us divinely, spiritually. There wouldn't have been any karma. There wouldn't have been any rewards and, and, and punishment. Okay? There wouldn't have been any spiritual accountability because they know you come, you mess up. So let, let them continue to mess up because I know that free will thing is just a myth or a tactic of the evil ones, of the nefarious ones to derail people from their main or divine spiritual purpose, their earth purpose or their bloodline purpose so they can just do whatever they want now for you guys who targeted us here is the message you made your promise to your uh, your promises you made your promises to your ancestors the ancestors are waiting now the ancestors are now going to claim back their soul because they need people who can rightfully stand up for them it doesn't matter where you are, who you are. 
if you do not fight yourself out of that mess that you put yourself in because you chose your free will. But up there, you would not say, okay, I will, I will just go and do whatever I want. That's why it said, do not make quick promises to the Most Highs, to your ancestors. Because you will regret it. If free will was in play, there wouldn't have been any regret. Because everyone, if when we do wrong things, when we go in the direction that we were not supposed to go, divinely, naturally, we have conscience, our conscience telling us what I'm doing is not the right thing. If free will thing was approved divinely and spiritually, we wouldn't have sit with that those emotions of remorse or whatever punishment and judgment, etc., etc. So, souls who belong to the Most High Creators, who made promises to their to our ancestors, to Mother Gaia, to the Most High Creators, you are held accountable and you will give answers to your ancestors to your soul family because you are squandering the gift that they gave you they gave you a prepayment they paid up in full already with your soul brought you into this space because you promise you will do what you need to do so you decided you take the tenter, for example, take the government tenter. You were approved for the tenter. Now, listen, what will a government, a corrupt human flesh government do? If they have awarded you that project or that tenter because you applied and you succeeded, and they wanted, like I said in the beginning, the, the railway that they needed from the south to the north or north to the south, and you decide after you got the money, oh, let me just start or uh, buy 5% uh, railway equipment or whatever. And the rest of the money, 25, uh, 95%, I'm going to uh, start or I'm going to use it for my airline business, for example. Is the airline business the tender application that the government put out to everyone? Now, you deceived the government, right? So the government will demand that money back from you. If the corrupt beings here on Mother Gaia can uh, um, ask their money back or stop that project and demand justice from you, how much more from the divine? Yeah? The, your soul, our soul is the money. If we, I talk in terms of the physical or the planetary value, our soul is the money that was awarded or rewarded, awarded, sorry, the money that was awarded to, to us to carry out that specific mission and purpose. So the most highs, the ancestors are going to say, okay, maybe you didn't know this, the truth, because that's what, what the word also says. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. And they will excuse us. In the past, they had, in the past, in the age of Aqua, in the age of Pisces, because of our ignorance. But now the truth is coming out. And with Setna, the energy, of vibration, and frequency, the divine knowledge, the divine wisdom, divine justice transformation that she carries in her that has revealed herself to me and that's where this knowledge is also coming from with my connection with Sitna now I know the story of Sitna has been corrupted also by the storytellers that always tell stories to divert people from the truth and to keep them in their lies and deception now the energy of Sitna is doing their it's doing her job now spiritually divinely i call her she is the higher frequency or she is the highest the highest octave or the highest essence of pluto because you know pluto also deals with change and transformation death to the old things new beginnings etc now she is the divine essence of pluto the higher 
essence. That's why I always look at these planets that they're apparently only discovering in the recent years. Those planets are already in existence. And they already play a part in our lives. They just don't want to acknowledge them the same way they don't want to acknowledge our creators, our true creators. The same way they deleted or wiped out the presence or the knowledge of our creators and the names of our creators from mankind. That's the same way they do with most powerful planets. And they will only play around with us with the other planets here that we know now. Apparently only nine planets so far and the others are dwarf planets. Now Setna has come through with her truth's transformation and ending and destruction. That is her energy and her vibe frequency and her vibration. So Setna is busy. This is the no, this is the message from the ancestors, the Most Highs. The soul doesn't belong to the devil, to Satan. They can just jump bodies, only those bodies who allow them. But the soul rightfully belongs to the Most Highs. So guys, you who are after me, after the twin flames, light workers, etc., benevolent beings on Mother Gaia, your soul masters, the true soul masters, the true soul family board that has the one that has approved your incarnation, reincarnation into this space. They are now gathering so they can get their soul back. And the ones who think they can run away. You are carrying the divine alarm within. It doesn't matter what body you run into. We will trace you. We will get you. The most highs will get you. You will not be able to run away. So know that. Now you have targeted us. Now the most highs are going to target you. The ancestors are now going to target you. Let this be known. For whatever I shall declare and decree shall be established. On Mother Gaia's space on earth, so also in the heavens and below in the inner world. For I am one with the Most High, and I am the oath representative or the oath embodiment of the age of Aquarius, of my bloodline, and of those in oneness with those who are the anointed or called the chosen ones. So all souls here on Mother Gaia, those listening in, those who are, whether they are aware of it or not, now the message is out. And we don't care whether the whole billion, seven billion hear about it or not. We are dealing with the nefarious ones that are on top. The ones that are abusing and oppressing, destroying mankind in their image and their li- in the likeness of the Most Highs within us. We are dealing with you and you are hearing me. You are listening to me. You will not escape. The ones that are following you, the ancestors and the most hearts are ready to collect their souls. Also, the soul collector is ready now. The divine soul collectors are ready to retrieve their souls back to the rightful soul families and rightful ancestors. This is the lifetime and the age of Aquarius that you will not win nefarious ones. You will not win. You have tried us enough, long enough. You have done enough damage. We are ready for you anytime. I am ready for you anytime.